We are one of the best teams in the league, if not the best, and today we played the way we imagined the Lakers would play. What a start Anthony Davis had. He was a real monster in Game 3, responding to everything. The game is over, we played well, but we have another game on Monday. It's literally that simple. After an underwhelming performance in Game 2, Anthony Davis was a big catalyst for the Lakers in Game 3. On the offensive end, he converted 5 of 7 contested shots and made all 4 of his free throws, while Draymond Green, the Warriors' primary defender, failed to make any of his 8 shots with AD as the primary defender. The Lakers' playoffs, sometimes sublime and other times lackluster, have been tied to Anthony Davis, who seems to have played well only half the time. Game 3 was another example of Davis's good performance, with 25 points and 13 rebounds, after scoring only 11 and 7 in the loss in Game 2. But Davis and the Lakers claimed to be keeping their cool. I don't use social media, so my teammates don't talk about it and my team doesn't talk about it. I had the same shooting opportunities in Game 1 and Game 2. In Game 1 I made them and in Game 2 I missed them, but I had the same opportunities in Game 3. You win a game and everybody is the best player in the world. You lose a game and they throw dirt on you. It's literally that simple. It's all about training your mind for the next challenge, Davis said. LeBron and Davis are trying to prepare their younger teammates for future challenges, removing as much emotional fluctuation as possible. Every day is a learning experience for a basketball team, and learning to move on after a win is just as important as moving on after a loss, LeBron said. The winner of Game 3 has a 70% chance of winning the playoff, and the Los Angeles Lakers Knees Top Channel leaves a tip for you, study financial education, seek a better quality of life in the financial market, studying Reese Real Estate Investment Trust, and let Lakers win the next all-important game.